Okay, I think you're using the Chaotic Labs idlers and the whole Chaotic Labs CNC kit. I think you are. Um, let's assume you're all, you are. So these things here are kind of hard to figure out how far you've gone, um, how much of a half turn or whatever. So get a Sharpie or something. Oop. Get a Sharpie, a black Sharpie or something, and try and make like tick marks or, or get some tape or something. To, to know how far you've gone, you know, just sort of quarters or whatever. Um, just so you know, like, oh, that's a half turn, or I'm going the wrong way now, you know, something like that, whatever. But let's, we can start with the, let's just assume that you're not mechanically racked, that your Y extrusions are perpendicular or parallel to each other, that your X extrusion is parallel, perpendicular to your Y extrusions. Let's just assume that. Um, we're going to assume that you're not too tight on your front eyelers. Uh, let's see over here. Front eyelers right there. Um, if you're too tight on these things, it'll throw it off. But your issue's more in Y, I think. <clears throat> so what I would do is I would loosen these things up all the way. 100% loose, loosen them up. Actually, no, wait, scratch that. Let's raise this thing up to about 150 so we can work on it. Right? Center the tool head at 150 from from these guys. So just put it put it at Y is equal to 150 or yeah Y is equal to 150. Then kill the A and B motors, but keep the Z motors intact. So you want to home and QGL before you do all this. Home QGL, raise it to 150, put the Y at 150. Kill the A and B motors. I'm sure somebody uh, remembers the command for that just to kill these two motors. Um, then. Loosen these things up all the way. I'm assuming you have both the belt number of teeth is equal on this side and the number of teeth is equal on this side and your belts are equal length. I'm assuming that because I think believe me, that's what you told me. So once you do that, then get your fingers on both sides. So see that? See right there? The, the outer, outer belts on both sides and get your fingers and pull them forward like this. So we're going to put all the slack in the middle and we want them even. So if you just pull one and then pull the other, all the slack's gonna be on this side. So we wanna pull evenly in the middle, okay? And then you're gonna do the same amount of turns. So you may do, you know, one, a half turn here, then a half turn here, then a half turn here, right? Keep going back and forth till you measure, you wanna measure 2.0. 2.0 is real easy to see. I know it's like 1.8 to 2.2 or 1.9 to 2.1 or something like that. 2.0 is real easy to see on that meter. And that's what we're going to keep doing. After you've done that, you've got it to 2.0 on both sides, right? Then what you're going to do is you're going to home QGL again, raise it to 150, put, put this at 150 in Y, and then measure it again. Because now after we've home and QGL, what we've done is we've moved all that extra slack all over the place. And we want to now verify it. So once we've verified it, it's going to be low. Chances are it's going to be low. So you're going to need to do like quarter of a turn. Quarter of a turn. Measure. Measure with your tool. And then do the same process over and over again until you get that tool measuring 2.0 after, after doing every spin. It may take you a couple times and it's going to be frustrating. After that, run belt shaper again and then we'll see where we're at. That's, that's where I think we should do.